What's up guys, welcome to the new Unreal Engine 5 video. Today, we're checking out this really cool stylized fur effect that I have created using Blender and Groom in Unreal Engine 5. So, <laughs> I really love how they integrate into this little monkeys over here. So in a second, I will show you in Blender how I created the fur in this case, and then how, you know, I basically kind of imported it into Unreal and made it look so freaking Cool. Now I do have a tutorial on how to make this, right? I made a tutorial a few months ago already on how to basically add hair in Unreal Engine 5 using Blender. So I will link this in the description just in case you want to check it out. But I really like how it looks. Now I made it pretty fast too, okay? So there's a lot of um, things that could be improved in terms of where the hair is placed. As you can see, kind of goes nearly into the, his eye <laughs> and things like that. But, you know, you get the idea. We, we have things going on. And on top of that, I also kind of build this little game, right? We can go and, you know, for example, break trees and begin to go and uh, create your own little, let's say, um, you know, fortress over here. And we have this little AI companions that will follow me around. And there's other kind of tribes in this level. I really like the visuals. I'm using um, an asset pack for the of the other tribe uh, for the environment which I think was free for the month and it looks absolutely amazing and the monkey is basically from sketchfab and you know what I've done is basically added fur into this monkey as simple as that and then of course I also went ahead and created a few systems as tree chopping as I just explained right it's pretty cool um, log building system which I actually showcased um, in some of my other tutorials and then um, things like item pickup, as you can see if I go here and I pick up this stick, for example. There we go. See my hand? It's very small. <laughs> okay, so I need to fix that scaling, but you get the idea. But overall, I love how this looks. Now, let's take a look at Blender, because this is really the magic, right? So as you can see, in Blender, I went ahead and let me go and also... Uh, enable the emitters over here so we can see everything right so show emitter show emitter and then let me activate everything and we basically have this little character over here right so this is the monkey itself right if we take the hair we should only have the base and then of course i added hair into this using the you know particles system right and with this i added hair and you know we basically add some interpolations and you know, add some cool stuff. Now, in physics, the very important thing, actually, I think it wasn't in physics. It was more like in children and so on. Yeah, clump and so on. Basically, these things are what makes it look stylized, right? And of course, with the particle edit, I kind of, you know, with the comp tool, kind of, you know, made it look a bit nicer and we got this really cool effect. And then in a real, what I do is basically import, if I go to monkey rigged groom, the hair asset, which I believe is this one. And you can see this is the hair itself. So then I kind of, you know, make it a bit more interesting, you know, playing with the strand properties, add a simulation with physics. So it moves, you know, when you walk around and basically created my own M hair material. Now it's very simple. Okay, literally just has a base color and a base roughness. Nothing crazy with, of course, the shader model set to hair. And again, I've done all this in a tutorial. Just in case you want to check it out, link in the description. But if you want another tutorial specialized on stylized fur and not really generic hair, uh, like in this uh, character over here, um, let me know. And I can show you how I built all this. But with that said, yeah, I know this character is not bugged, it's just testing, so okay, it's just a skeletal mesh with a animation acid running, okay, it's for testing, there's nothing, there are no bugs in this game right now. <laughs> anyway, and I want to see more cool, you know, features in this game that I've built for a couple hours, let me know. I also added some physics, as you can see. But anyway, if you found this video interesting, I would really appreciate it, you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Check out my Patreon and YouTube members, join my Discord server to talk with me and to the devs, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all said, bye bye.